The British Prime Minister has made an emotional plea to Scottish voters saying more powers could be devolved to Edinburgh in exchange for their rejection of a breakaway from the rest of Britain. Scottish nationalists want a referendum on full independence to be held in 2014. But on a visit to Edinburgh, David Cameron argued that Scotland was better off as part of the 300-year-old union. Of course, Scotland could govern itself. So could England. My point is that we do it so much better together. I can, and I will, enumerate a number of practical reasons for our United Kingdom. But the reason I make the case is partly emotional. Because this is a question of the heart as well as the head. The Prime Minister had talks with Scotland's first minister from the pro-independent Scottish National Party. The two were at odds over the referendum's timing and its form. And at no time on his trip did Cameron say exactly which extra powers might be transferred to Edinburgh. This is a referendum that must be built and made in Scotland and run for the people of Scotland. I think the Prime Minister better understand that Scottish politics is about a positive vision for the future. It's about people, not prestige. Opinion polls show between 30 and 40 percent of Scots want independence. Alex Salmond hopes that by late 2014 those numbers will be boosted. It will be the 700th anniversary of Scotland's famous victory over the English at the Battle of Bannockburn.